welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number 2! I'm super excited for today's video because today we are doing a pick a card, not a pick a card, OMG, I'm so thrown off, honestly. We're doing a weekly collective energy spread, so what all we are going through this week as a collective, okay, kind of all of us. There are things happening in the world right now that is affecting every single person, so that's why these, you know, matter. Um, before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private reading. You can literally ask whatever question you want, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next no I do not have nails I am rocking the nubs okay yes honey the nail salons are closed um so let's just get started honestly I don't even know where to start I don't even know where to start I know that how are you guys doing during quarantine are you guys self-isolating like how are you guys doing um how are things where you live a little stir crazy I've been going a little stir crazy and it's funny because I don't even leave the house like on the regs but just knowing that I can't is like making me like crazy so let's see what comes up this week <laughs> page of staffs the, the three of coins and the six of staffs in reverse wow I absolutely love this you know what this is so funny that these cards are coming out Okay, so we have the Page of Staffs, the Three of Coins, and the Six of Staffs in reverse. So a lot of, you know, if you watch a lot of spiritual content, a lot of spiritual channels have been talking about the the falling of the patriarchy, you know, and government changing, and the public's trust in, you know, certain figures, and people learning to be self-sufficient through all of this, because I know a, a major thing... Um, through the whole quarantine process is a lot of people aren't able to work so it's like there's been a lot of thoughts going through everyone's mind like okay if something like this were to happen again how can I make sure that I'm I'm still okay so a lot of people are trying to figure out how they can be self-sufficient like outside of the regular nine to five life so we have the page of staffs which is really the energy it's an optimistic fun airy energy and it just feels like you know a lot of creation a lot of creativity it feels like there's a lot of people trying to figure out you know what can they do or figuring out what do I want to do what do I actually want to do because to be honest no one really wants to go back anyway you know unless you just really love your job no one is just like oh my god I can't wait to go back you know it's more like okay the coin is running dry honey like I need to get back working so I feel this collaborative energy you know but I, I feel like there's this sense of bonding and I feel like there's this sense of direction, but at the same time, we have the six of staffs in reverse. So if you look at this card, you can see that this guy, he has, let me just turn it up right so you can see. He has his golden rod. He's on a platform. You know, this represents him being higher than, you know, the majority. And since we're like breaking down the patriarchy and we're kind of getting like a level playing field here, I see that really happening. So really the energy that I'm getting to sum it up because trust I'm all over the place honey um, it's really just like this energy where I see people this week figuring out what it is that they actually want to do and making plans to build you know towards that life instead of just you know going through the regular cadence of life as it has been it's like we're kind of growing into our own <sighs> let's see what else comes up honestly I want to pull from my moon deck I hope you guys are doing okay though. If you're not okay, definitely feel free to complain in the comments below. Also, can I just say, don't feel bad if you're gaining weight during quarantine, okay? Don't feel bad if you feel extra sad. Well, that kind of doesn't make sense. Don't feel bad that you feel bad. <laughs> but you get what I mean. Like, this is very normal. We're all going through this together. Don't feel the need to put all this crazy pressure on yourself. Like, I still have to, you know, lose this 10 pounds while I'm at home which okay fair if you're at home and you want to do at home workouts fine but understand that things are different than what we usually are you know we don't have access to gyms we don't have access to you know all the things that we could use to distract ourselves from eating okay I'm definitely one of those eaters who just eats because they're bored that's me um yeah so just listen don't be so hard on yourself during this time okay I just felt the need to say that but Express how you feel in the comments below. It's okay. It's a it's a safe place here. Let's keep going. <clears throat> 
we have the new moon in Gemini, the mutable moon, and the cardinal moon. There's those. New moon in Gemini, cardinal moon, and the mutable moon. Okay, new moon in Gemini, communication is key. And that's kind of what I see with this three of coins. But honestly, it feels like a week where we're communicating with ourselves. See, another major thing that has been really like, you know, leaving people just absolutely shook is the amount of time that they literally have to spend with themselves. You know, because when you're self-isolating and you're spending time just away from people you're literally just alone and you just have time to think about things that have gone through you've gone through in your life things that have happened the person you are who you are maybe you spend more time in the mirror maybe you just spend more time just looking at your life a lot of people aren't exactly comfortable with who they are and honestly i i see communication happening communication with ourselves and with our higher selves for our greater good so honestly i see a lot of good coming out of this time but this week it just feels like a very thoughtful week i feel like you know barriers are being broken down i feel like people are being self-sufficient people are truly ascending you know and it's so crazy this i i can feel the energy it has definitely changed all this whole process has caused an ascension it really has and you know what's crazy Quick side note, you know when big, you know, kind of more tragic things happen in the world, there's usually this, this energy of, you know, people connecting with each other and people just being really grateful for each other. And I still feel that, but there's also this energy specifically happening now with what's happening where it's like there's more energy it's almost like people want to do more not just because they're isolated but it's just like there's this energy where it's like okay something has to change and even though it's not related specifically to health etc like the changes people are making i just feel like the energy is just different it's so hard to even explain but i i really feel all of this is happening for the greater good i really do um okay so then we have the cardinal move cardinal moon be bold and make the first move this is literally what i was just talking about i see a lot of action it just feels very action oriented this feels like a very actionable time where people are making changes and if you haven't started to make any change don't even feel bad about that but just start you can start at any time start now um and then we have the mutable moon nothing is yet set in stone <laughs> It's hard to even get a grasp on the energy because it's like, we don't know, no one knows like what's kind of really going to happen. It's like hard to even like pin down like what's happening. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep checking in during this whole spread because there's just so much going on. So first of all, Again, I see people, you know, really basically looking into ways that they can work for themselves or not end up in a situation where it's like, oh no, I don't have any other way I can make coin. I see that happening. I see people making connections online as well with other people, lifelong connections for some of you. Um, and then I also see, you know, like the, the playing field just being leveled. It's like, you know, we're no longer led by who we were led by in the past, whether it be politicians, whether it be i don't even know like whoever is running this you know like <laughs> they're not running it anymore it's just like there's this energy where it's like we're kind of taking control of our own lives okay let's keep going <laughs> okay sir nunos i get him all the time paul the venetian and melchizedek these are so hard to pronounce, but I love these cards. Okay, so there they are. So the first one we have is Life Force. Express your driving passion. Sensual powers are increased. So this is literally what I was just talking about before, where it's this energy where it's like, you know, we're... Ex we're we're trying to work for ourselves. I see a lot of people honestly making plans. Um, and some of you guys aren't even going to be going back to work, to be honest. Some of you guys are not going to be going back to work by choice because you realize that the work that you've been doing is not the work that you want to do for the rest of your life or it's just not something you're interested in, invested in anymore. It's not feeding your soul. It doesn't make you feel good. You don't feel accomplished, etc. when you go home. I feel so much creative energy and just like 
action at this time. It's seriously so hard to explain. Um, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. That is so exciting. I almost want to pin this on my wall uh, for this week because it's so, I love that, you know, waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So working through some self-love is going to be happening this week. And then also some creative ideas. You know, a lot of it, you know, I know for me personally, I've been getting extremely creative with being so stir crazy at, about like, because I'm staying at home so much and it's caused me to have so many ideas. And, you know, honestly, I see that kind of being the general energy. Like I'm saying, like I was, like I've been saying, it's very action oriented. It's like, we're not just feeling things. It's like, we're feeling things and we're taking action. Things are going somewhere. And I absolutely love that, seriously. And then we have higher learning ascension i mean come on you have learned from experience more inner study is now required to further progress so you've learned from experience okay so what are we all experiencing now we're realizing that the stability we once knew can be shaken okay more inner study is now required to further progress. So maybe this week is a perfect time to journal out all the things that you're good at, to pay special attention to what you want to do, you know? I just feel like, honestly, to be honest, <laughs> I feel like there's kind of like two groups right now. I feel like there's two groups and one group is going to get lost in the sauce and kind of left behind and then one group of people is kind of going to use this time, be very productive, make change and they're going to fully ascend and they're going to go on to do great things and then the people who didn't learn from this experience, um, yeah, I feel like they're kind of just going to stay in that same place and staying in the same place is basically going backwards. According to Drake, he said it in a song once. I'm pretty sure I love him. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. <clears throat> Hope, truth, and crown chakra seriously hope truth and crown chakra so there are those honestly i'm i i haven't doubted you know at all through this entire process that there is hope i've definitely felt very hopeful and very optimistic through everything going on in the world even through being so alone i know that even that feeling is just temporary and things aren't going to be like this forever uh with the crown chakra like i was saying in the very beginning of the reading it's going to be very important to connect to your higher self this week it's going to be very important to spend some time maybe meditating see what ideas you know come to you and another thing <laughs> i know a lot of people make it sound so woo woo meditating like you know or connecting with your higher self connecting to your guides some people do have a very real experience but that kind of comes with time um because like your guides they don't want to scare you etc so they're not going to just you know materialize right in front of you and start talking to you and you've never seen them before you know that's not going to be your first experience it'll be baby steps and then one day your wig make it snatched okay because i done seen some things honey but the point is start slow don't be afraid and just you know literally sit in the dark if you can if you're not if you're too scared i get it but you definitely want to meditate and connect with yourself at this time it's very important um and then we have the truth card truths are being revealed we've already seen plenty of truths be revealed from the weeks up until now but i see more truth being revealed okay I just heard pull from the romance deck, so I'm going to do that. Someone is, needs to hear something associated with truth in terms of romance. <clears throat> Be honest, wait a little bit longer, and invitation. And at the bottom, we have release baggage. Okay, invitation, wait a little bit longer and be honest. 
in regards to truth wow okay so some of you guys have kind of been struggling with someone specifically this isn't a message for everyone this is a message specifically whoever it resonates with this is your message um it's important that you be truthful with yourself and this person you're not getting enough from them and honestly i think it's very much so possible that you do get more from them but you're going to have to communicate it you can't wait for them to give it to you because they're comfortable where they are i'm i'm sensing they're just comfortable with with the way things are and it's not that they don't want more um you will get more if you wait a little bit longer but first you have to be honest with them and yourself with what you truly require in a relationship and what you're truly looking for and then what you're getting from them after those steps have been completed then you're going to get this invitation from them this is very exciting you're going to get an invitation for an official date with someone someone is going to ask you to go out for some of you, it'll be ice cream. I just saw someone on a picnic. So it'll it's very cute, very cute energy. But um, yeah, that was specifically for someone. And if you've really been wondering and that just resonated, like, you know, then yeah, definitely take that from my guides to you. Um, let's keep going and see what else comes up, honey. That was really random. So we have thinker blessed and poised yeah and honestly this is just like the overall energy thinker blessed and poised honestly it's definitely time to be creative think creatively about you know the things that you want to do I've, I've been saying this we got to come up with other ways that we can be we have to be self-sufficient we have to think about also what do we want to do with our lives you know do are we comfortable with being you know a very important part of society and um essentially how can i explain this you know being an essential worker are we comfortable you know with that are we help comfortable with being that being our position or do we want something else not to say do you want more because these essential workers are needed like omg i've honestly been getting a little frustrated with some of the things that i've seen online in terms of people just being ungrateful because it's like seriously like without the essential workers we would be so lost anyway i mean i can get on a whole rant then we have the bless card. Honestly, the thoughts that are put into action are going to lead us to major abundance by the end of this year. So it would seriously be in your best interest to invest in something in yourself right now. Um, and then we have the poise card. And honestly, this is just like the energy where it's like you know what to do. And if you do what's best for you if you listen to your higher self and you make change in your life this week whether it's becoming more comfortable with who you are whether it's addressing who you you know how you actually feel about yourself whether it's coming up with a business idea that can be done that you know on your own whatever it is whatever it is um as long as we focus on that honestly i see really great things coming from it so yeah guys this was a lot a little all over the place but it is what it is honey there's a lot going on this week Do you my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private reading you can literally ask whatever question you want like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next I love you be careful what you wish for okay and I will see you in the next one Mwah!